Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode we ventured deeper into the <clears throat> Yashis Massive over the Ascendant Scarp in search of the mark for the sea stone Seath Stone Mission 4. And we found him, defeated him, and claimed the rewards. All right, so now that we're going, we've done that, we're going to move on to the Sea Stone Five. Our objective is to get to seven, and well, our real objective is to complete them all. But we're going to get to seven, and then we're going to get to fifteen, and then we're going to do some other stuff before coming back to finish them all up. All right, so from the save point, jump down to the right, and on this lower path, you'll find the next sea stone. We'll go ahead and examine it for mission five, Joyous Reunion. The mark is a demo, and the location is the Yachis Massif, Class D. All right, so whenever you're ready, go ahead and Accept the mission. Alright, so now to get to this mission, we're going to have to backtrack all the way back to the entrance. So let's go ahead and head back the way we came. Huh? Up ahead, you can jump on the log and take it across the ravine. And we're going to take this guy out so we can get the nearby treasure ball hanging out there by the edge. Now this guy's pretty tough. But as long as you have a season on your party, he shouldn't be nothing that you can't handle. He has about 226,800 HP, and he's pretty tough to stagger. Go ahead and work on building up his stagger gauge. Change of plan. And don't neglect to heal. Time for another approach. Right before you stagger him, switch to relentless and soul. And really let him have it. Then boost his stagger percentage up to about 700. And I was just getting started. And you should be able to take him out in one stagger. Alright, so after you clear that guy out, jump on the nearby log. And we're going to have to take out one more enemy before we can open the treasure ball.
Alright, so after destroying him, go ahead and open up the treasure ball it was guarding for a rune bracelet. After you've got that, go ahead and continue backtracking to the entrance of the uh, area. jump up on the log and take it back up and you should be at the entrance area all right so back up at the top let's go ahead and clear out some enemies remember to fight all enemies so that you can slowly save up your CP it's really gonna make a difference Alright, after clearing them out, you got two more slightly to the right. Be ready for the next fight. <clears throat> Alright, so after clearing out the entrance area, you might as well take the time to slay these enemies over here. This isn't the right way to go in order to fight the mark, but for that extra amount of CP, it's definitely worth it. are the birds that guard the entrance to the Yas Yachis ma Massive. It's really hard to pronounce that word. I don't know why they made it so difficult. But we're just fighting these guys for the CP. This isn't a mandatory battle or anything. But the more CP you can get, the better. Alright, so that's a 1700 CP secured. Alright, now once you've cleared out all the enemies at the entrance area, the path you're going to want to take is over here towards the right. Now, the path to the far left of the right hand side is the path we want to take but if you take the right hand side path then uh you can fight some enemies and get a treasure ball Hit! <laughs> 
there was any doubt. Alright, so after clearing them guys out, go ahead and open up the nearby treasure ball they were guarding for nine diabolic tails. And if you head over to the destination marker, you can get a quick scene. Note that this scene is missable, so if you don't get it now and you head to the next area, you won't be able to get it again. Something on your mind? Huh? Oh, I, uh, I was just thinking. About what? Something complicated? <laughs> I was just taking it all in. The sky here, the trees, the sunlight, the smells. When I was on Cocoon, I never dreamed a place like this could even exist. But now, here I am, on Pulse. If I hadn't gone to those fireworks, if I hadn't been sitting in that same train car during the purge, if anything had been different, I'd never have had a chance to see this. Mm -mm. No. I'm sure you would have wound up here. Don't you remember you promised me? You promised me that we'd come and see Grand Pulse together. Uh, really? I... When did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. How about another lifetime? <laughs> uh, what does that even mean? To tell you the truth, I've told so many lies. It's all a blow. Well, you know, sometimes you have to lie about stuff to keep yourself going because you're afraid. Or to protect someone else so they don't get hurt. Sometimes even the things that everyone in the whole world thinks are true turn out to be lies. At the end of the day, though, it's not the lie that matters, but what you do after you tell it. Work hard enough and you can make it true. I mean, maybe we both forgot. Maybe we did promise to see Grand Pulse together. And Cocoon. Thanks, Hope. Do something for me, will ya? Keep smiling. I... It makes me happy when you smile. Oh, I... I didn't know you felt that way. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean you were joking? Now we're even. <laughs> oh. Hey! Wait! <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right, so after watching the humorous scene, the enemies have respawned, so if you want, you can kill them all again for extra CP. And I'm just going to be quick about it, because I know you guys don't want to watch the same enemies, so... I'm just going to kill a couple of them, and then we're going to roll out. The mark isn't too far away, so we should be able to cover it in this episode. However, it's very important that you constantly fight enemies. Because in order to max out your Pistarium, you're going to need a lot of CP. So the more you get now, the less you'll have to get later. And it's a good time to take these enemies out because they're actually weak. And most of the enemies you come into, come into contact with on Grand Pulse, you won't be able to kill them because they're too strong. So the good thing about this area is that all the enemies found here are definitely easier to beat. So you'll get a good boost on your CP, which is why I recommend you coming over here. But also for the cheapest stones and the, the cheapest missions. And the uh, mystical scene that we just watched. Huh! <laughs> 
Be ready for the next fight. All right. So again, that scene that we just watched, if you don't get it now before heading on to the new area on the other side of the Ar Archlet's Deep, which is where we're supposed to go to advance the main story, if you don't watch that scene before you go there, then it's missable and you will not be able to get it. So make sure you take the time to watch it. And we're going to clear out these final remaining enemies and then we're going to proceed to the mark. Alright, so after uh, taking care of them guys, if you open up your map, just in front of the save point, the path will split to the right where we just watched that scene and collected the treasure ball, and then to the left. So that thin path you see to the left is the way you're going to need to go in order to find the next mark. Now I'm just going to quickly scout this area for treasure balls to see if we missed any because there are a lot of treasure balls on Grand Pulse. <laughs> and it looks like we've gotten everything. So make sure after you've gotten everything, you fight all the battles and then take that small path to the left. Now on this small path, a bunch of flowers will pop up and block your way. Make sure you fight them for the extra CP. Back under <laughs> They give you some really good CP <clears throat> after clearing them out continue down the uh, narrow path and ahead the path will split so if you take the right path you'll get to the mark but before you do that take the left path so that we can clear out some enemies to get a treasure ball
2,800 CP, that wasn't a hard fight. And after you clear them out the way, you can open up the treasure ball in the corner they were guarding for a watchman's amulet. So once you've gotten that, now we're going to take the uh, right hand path. So over on the right hand side you'll see that there is a behemoth over there but he doesn't guard anything that I can see You'll make it. Cheers! Time for another approach. of the battle oh my god 
Looks like we're gonna have to take them out again. Oh my god. Wow, that was an epic fail right there. Wow. Such an epic fail. You asked for it. This battle is definitely, like, got on my last nerve. <laughs> Alright, one more time, and we wasted so much time on this one battle, I'm gonna have to cut the episode and do the seat this mission on the next episode, so... Let's get these guys out of the way.
Alright, so after taking them down, that takes care of the main path. And we're running low on time, guys, so unfortunately I'm going to have to uh, cut the episode here. There's no save point nearby. Oh yeah, there is. So let's make our way over to this save point real quick. And it's guarded by a greater behemoth. So let's see if we can slide past them. Yeah, because that's definitely a battle we don't want to mess with. <laughs> Alright guys, so thank you for watching and that's going to conclude this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode where we take care of the Cephas Stone Mission 5.